the next uh, presentation or the next article will be with the ID 43. Uh, it's tag hound game based approach for cooperative UAVs. And also, I'm not sure if there are any uh, of the authors in, would like to present. But uh, no way I can use my. Uh, I don't think so because we can use this table. Okay. So we prefer if you use this presentation, you can use this pointer. Uh, I can call that for you. You can lay the word. That's fine. Thanks. Yeah. No, 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 this. Which one? I upload it to PDF. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. 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 Just check. So how do we move? I don't know if this is working. No, this doesn't work with PDF. Only with PowerPoint presentations. I, I use it. Is this yeah. one? Okay. Okay. Um, uh, sorry, my my file is uh, PDF. Uh, um, a couple of uh, animation and uh, movies uh, uh, make it uh, heavy. So uh, I have it on my laptop, but uh, the system is not allowed to use personal uh, laptop. So okay. So um, I'm here to, uh, my name is uh, Huang Ha uh, from University of uh, Technology, Sydney. Um, the uh, students and staff in my lab working on this uh, project uh, targeting uh, cooperation of uh, robotic machines. And uh, um, we came up with, uh, Okay, and we come up with um, a method in order to solve uh, the conflict between uh, the machines during execution of a robotic task. Um, in our project here, we uh, use uh, um, multiple. So, okay. um, we use multiple uh, UAV drones in order to um, monitor a construction site or uh, some infrastructure assets. Um, so um, in the picture on the left is um, a monorail bridge uh, of Sydney. And uh, you can see a group of three UAVs 
um, fly in to monitor um, the uh, the bridge. Okay, and uh, for example, now is a uh, image from the internet, but it conceptualizes the idea of uh, using multiple UAVs in order to monitor the progress of a construction project. And on the right-hand side at the bottom is uh, using UAVs to deliver uh, parcel. Our system, the um, cooperation of multiple UAVs is uh, rendered to the problem of uh, formation control. And uh, um, in that, the task uh, will be assigned uh, for each UAV, namely UAV1, UAV2, UAVN, and uh, um, uh, we, with us is uh, how to design the formation to follow the path and in order to also to accommodate obstacles and uh, um, provide uh, the imaging of uh, the infrastructure uh, piece or uh, the asset or the construction site. So finally, at the lower level, it comes to control algorithm to uh, deliver to, to be delivered to each UAV. So in order to do cooperation uh, of uh, the multiple UAV, uh, a number of techniques available can be considered, namely artificial potential field to produce a smooth and continuous path but faces local man minima problems. Um, the optimal control methods can solve the optimization with different constraints, but of course it involves a high computational complexity or latency. Uh, evolutional algorithms to generate a smooth cooperative path, but it may converge to suboptimal solutions. We propose here uh, a techniques using uh, game theory to resolve interactions among competing players. So uh, each UAV is uh, now considered as a player. Um, and uh, in game theory, there are a number of uh, methods. Um, most popular is uh, the uh, Nash uh, Steckenberg method. Um, but also uh, we, um, re we refer to the literature and it come up with a very, um, well, original uh, in game, namely the second game. Uh, I will explain that in a little bit uh, later, but the second, uh, second game based algorithm uh, right now, it becomes um, uh, to us is easier to tackle the problem of uh, uh, UAV cooperative path planning. So initially we um, consider to incorporate a path, an optimal path by, uh, well, elaborating on a multi-objective function. Uh, J, uh, the total, the global um, objective function is a summation of uh, uh, K uh, objectives, right? Uh, from one to, to, to K, where uh, JN uh, J, uh, J, sub I uh, represents uh, the objective uh, um, of I, uh, depending on uh, the purpose of, uh, of uh, your task. The path planning then will address, address also uh, the safety, the formation shape, the shortest distance, and uh, uh, trajectory smoothness. So for example, we provide here a illustrative image of uh, multiple uh, buildings and uh, the task of inspection will deploy uh, the, the triangular formation of uh, drones uh, to pass through that uh, safely and maintain the formation shape and also maintain a shortest distance with a, a smooth uh, trajectory. Now, um, we uh, sorry for it involves a, a little bit math, but uh, we will consider um, uh, K waypoint on the way. Uh, it can be illustrated in uh, in uh, the uh, um, image at the bottom, where where uh, the cylinders here 
the cylinder here represents obstacle that uh, the formation shape should uh, go through and avoid this obstacle. Okay, and on the way here is uh, the um, monorail bridge and uh, the obstacle are there. And also the formation shape uh, is a triangular, triangular, equilateral tri triangular uh, shape. And the, the drones should fly through that to avoid this obstacle. With that, we have a number of K waypoint and uh, we code XN and XN minus the part of UAVN and its neighbors. So the cost function will be formulated on the, on the X, sorry. On the, um, Xn and Xn minus, okay? Um, we denote En of K is formation area and PK and PR is position of the UAV team and reference position set. D and WN is graph incidence matrix and weight matrix where uh, DN bar the shortest distance, DS and RN is safety distance of the drone radius. Um, right there, the condition as the uh, DK, uh, if DK bar, which is the shortest distance between the two uh, UAVs, should be greater than um, the safety distance plus 2RN, which is the two uh, radius of, uh, of each UAV, okay? And uh, if uh, it is uh, smaller, then it is unsafe, and then uh, we admit uh, that uh, condition. Now, uh, second game, in fact, it is uh, coming from... Uh, the uh, um, French uh, philosopher, uh, Jean-Jacques Rousseau. So <laughs> uh, you can dig out in the literature to find out um, where the hunters are always achieve uh, the maximal benefit and the maximal benefit come in when the two hunt uh, the, the hunters cooperate with each other in order to achieve uh, uh, the most uh, payoff, okay? Uh, that is uh, when they can uh, hunt, they can hunt uh, the, uh, the stack. And then uh, the payoff for each uh, hunter will achieve, for example, a maximum benefit, where um, if uh, you don't collaborate with each other well, you may end up with um, one achieve uh, nothing, but one achieve uh, some, a hair uh, or uh, the other, uh, achieve a hair and you will receive nothing. Or the, maybe the medium case is uh, you achieve one hair, the other uh, achieve one hair. So obviously the cooperation makes sense in the sense that the maximum payoff uh, will be obtained for each hunter. And that requires a, a strategy, an optimal strategy. And here we are coding that in order to, uh, to achieve uh, the safest and the shortest distance of the whole um, triangular formation. So basically, this Pareto optimal should be achieved for all uh, UAVs. For all UAV, uh, the total cost uh, should be uh, should the son, sorry the total benefit the total benefit from 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 this should be greater than or equal uh, to uh, to the total the the benefits uh, on the benefits uh, given on the strategy. Now. Uh, uh, there's no uh, N dash that that is, is smaller, uh, that the benefit of uh, at, uh, at uh, um, Pareto optimal is, is smaller. So all, at least it's equal or greater. And that is uh, how we, uh, we code uh, the second game into this problem. So uh, here we have uh, three UAVs, uh, uh, formulated in a uh, equilateral triangle. And the uh, objective function is uh, forming from one to M to uh, stand for each uh, UAV, which is each UAV, uh, each player and uh, incorporate all the strategies, namely UAV fly paths and the payoff is the cost function. So, um, to solve that, that function, we use uh, particle uh, swarm optimization.
So um, the swarm consisting of, uh, of uh, n population particles, uh, each particle i has a, a position x and the velocity vi uh, coded in this, uh, this uh, namely VSO is uh, um, a well-known um, optimal optimization method that uh, inspired by uh, bio interactions of, uh, of uh, um, random uh, motion or of, uh, of uh, the um, natural uh, species. In here, X C0 is uh, the inertia weight, C1, C2 uh, are self-confidence -confi and, uh, uh, and swarm confident parameters. Uh, R1, R2 are random values, uh, R1, uh, R2. So, uh, and uh, we take uh, in the normalized interval of uh, zero and one. So basically um, our algorithm will cover initialization, evaluation, uh, because um, in, uh, we, we start with uh, um, random position of uh, three UAVs for, and then uh, uh, it come into uh, the first phase of initialization and evaluation of the payoff to um, obtain the optimal uh, strategy by uh, Pareto optimality. And then uh, we uh, conclude uh, the iteration process by assigning termination condition where we call here is uh, max IT. Um, here is uh, the capture of the image uh, that uh, we uh, experiment with uh, the three uh, drones. Okay, um, BSO approach uh, that uh, the four phase initialization, evaluation, optimal strategy, and termination are now, uh, well, incorporated in a pseudo code. Uh, of uh, of uh, the algorithm. Uh, number one, we initialize the BSL parameters. Number two, we set the index of iteration uh, zero. And then uh, we do uh, the loop four where uh, IT is one to uh, max IT. Okay. Um, we calculate uh, the objective function, the global one. And uh, we use the BSO to do the optimization here to achieve a, a Pareto optimality, uh, okay? And uh, if it satisfies the two conditions I mentioned for Pareto optimal optimality, then we record uh, X and star for the optimal uh, path, okay? Of uh, UAVN and the rest in the neighbor. And then we update. Uh, then we obtain the, the star after it reached max IT. So uh, here is, uh, um, here I, we do an uh, animation, but unfortunately uh, the PDF doesn't capture that. Uh, sorry. And here is uh, the simulation results come in first. Um, we consider large um, obstacle, large obstacles like uh, a wall or um, um, prefabbed uh, um, structure. And uh, uh, here uh, we compared our um, three UAVs uh, um, optimally uh, deployed by using Tekken game uh, compared with, uh, with we can achieve formation by a rigid, rigid formation. Rigid formation, a previous application, we use um, other techniques. For example, the centroid, we, we do path planning for the centroid and derive the three um, drones trajectory. Now, um, in terms of uh, um, the left is uh, the rigid formation formation where we control the centroid. Uh, we do, do high level control of the centroid, the path planning for centroid and derive the, the three um, UAVs. Okay, and it's on the right hand side, we use, uh, we use a second game. 
obviously, if we don't uh, have a, a this is a, for small for small uh, obstacle like uh, cranes or something. Obviously, if we don't have uh, um, a serious dense, uh, seriously dense environment, then the two techniques would be the same. Uh, but uh, this um, stack hunt game would become uh, easier to uh, deploy the three UAVs if we uh, encounter a more complicated environment. Um, the uh, comparison from a uh, rigid uh, formation profit uh, end up with uh, that number. And uh, if we use a second game, it is uh, uh, smaller. Uh, what it means is it can be uh, less uh, computational um, burden and more uh, kind of uh, efficient. Um, here we use, I'm not sure if I can run this video, but um, uh, this is, uh, again, I mentioned a uh, monorail bridge uh, close to our uh, campus um, where the three uh, UAV are starting at that uh, position and then doing a, uh, a flight uh, along that path in order to uh, survey the bridge. Um, if I get uh, you know, run that, this would be uh, um, well, lovely, but um, but uh, we should not uh, do that. Okay, so uh, in conclusion, I would say that uh, the cooperation of uh, UAV system uh, can be applied in many applications, including um, construction project progress management, uh, or um, surveying of an uh, infrastructure asset like a monorail bridge in our application or uh, in uh, many domains, right? Okay. Um, there are always in robotics nowadays, a challenge is uh, the uh, uh, cooperative robotics. So uh, it means cooperative control of a, a group of machines. For example, uh, in a construction site, you can have a robotic uh, excavator, loader, uh, bulldozers, etc. Uh, second game-based uh, approach is now in our project uh, designed to achieve uh, um, the resolution of uh, conflicts uh, to achieve the goal. And PSO is integrated to find uh, uh, as a tool to find the game equilibrium, which is a Pareto uh, optimal solution. In future, um, we will develop preceding horizon game theory based platform for cooperative UAVs. Um, and uh, we extend the second game to Nash, uh, second bird game uh, to deal with more complicated scenarios. Um, the technique can be obviously um, obtained directly to uh, the site monitoring or uh, construction project uh, progress uh, monitoring. So uh, I would uh, stop my presentation here and uh, I would be happy to take uh, any questions. Okay, thank you, Professor Hafi, for the presentation. Uh, I wonder if there are any questions. Yes. The, the, the front first and then the back. Uh, the back first. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for your wonderful presentation. And I have a question about the game theory. So isn't there a limitation for applying game theory? Is there any limitations for applying game theories in drones? For example, like maybe they could make a suboptimal result to avoid conflicts or something? Um, of course, each method has um, uh, pros and, and cons. Um, yeah, uh, we started with the uh, Nash uh, Steckenberg uh, games to deal with more uh, complicated scenario is also uh, have a good uh, um, results. 
Um, but then we want to simplify the algorithm so we can see the uh, stack hand game. Uh, you see just four scenario to to represent uh, the, 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 the best strategy. Okay, that is the uh, number one for the advantage to, to simplify the process. And number two is of course uh, optimal uh, is uh, optimality. Uh, of course, uh, the global um, would be hard to reach via uh, the soft computing technique uh, like uh, PSO. So we can achieve uh, um, Pareto optimality. And in that case, uh, uh, my experience, our experience is uh, in order to achieve a completeness of, uh, of uh, your uh, approach toward a problem, probably it is uh, more or less uh, counts on the way you incorporate the ob objective function. So J total is uh, the, the, the summation of uh, JN. Then, and the cleverness here is uh, to, um, to develop uh, the, the, the convenient or the suitable uh, objective function to uh, achieve uh, an objective, uh, the global objective. And of course, uh, the class of problems you deal with may be various. So of course, you again need to recode uh, to make it suitable to uh, the profiles of the tasks you are dealing with. Thanks. Hi, um, thanks for the really interesting presentation. Um, I wanted to ask about, um, so the game theory is that you're using here is going to, just, do you still use the Lagrangian and everything to communicate between the different agents, like in the centroid method, or like, is this a complete replacement also of the overall structure of the, of the uh, multi-agent system? Um, you can consider that as a multi-agent uh, system. Uh, because uh, each each uh, player can can be uh, or each drone can be an, an, an agent in the, in that sense. There is an, no such uh, differentiation between two. The difference is the technique we apply. With technique apply, we apply is here is uh, we try um, to uh, simplify the process of uh, of achieving the most feasible uh, solution via solving a second game first to cast the problem in a second game and then to use a feasible tool in order to reach the Pareto optimality. And that we think with feasible, you know that the drones is very difficult because it has limited resources. The fly time for this inexpensive UAV is maybe just less than 30 minutes. Okay, and the results we put on that is also limited. So everything uh, should be um, well chosen in order to, number one, to have a computational efficiency uh, to uh, be uh, well uh, implemented on the, the on the on the on the system. Of course, you have a more complicated. You may achieve a better results, but then the question is: Will it be uh, feasible in order to? put everything onto the system. So that's it, thank you. Okay, thank you, Professor Ha. Uh, I think with that, we, we reach to the end of, of our session. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for your presence. Uh, and see you, enjoy the rest of the conference. Yeah, uh, thank you, the chair, um, and uh, thank you, uh, the audience here. Uh, appreciate the time, and uh, I would like uh, to uh, also express uh, our personal um, thanks uh, to uh, the conference, the organizer. It is a, a great conference. Uh, the smooth transition between hybrid in the hybrid mode nowadays, I think it will be a really a great success. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much to everyone. We're going on a coffee break. We'll see you back here at 1130.